another gorgeous Sunday. Well, I have to share this with you today. You know, it typifies Joseph and his brothers in the scriptures. And I had to look at it like that because Joseph's brothers betrayed him, sold him to, into slavery. Well, my brother threw me under the bus last night. My brother Rick, he's a year older than me. And he literally threw me under the bus. He, he told me to fuck off three times. He doesn't want nothing to do with spiritual things. He doesn't want me to talk about spiritual things and God. And this has been coming for a long time because many years I've tried to help my brother. Me and my wife literally had him here living with us before. We've tried to help him, you know, give him some boost in life, but it never ever worked. I'm so thankful to have a beautiful family and I'm so thankful God has given me the peace and understanding and can't, coming through the trials of life and understanding his purpose in it. You know, Rick always was jealous of me because I had a family, I had a home and God has blessed me how he's blessed me. And the jealousy does not become Rick at all. And basically the ties were cut, just like Joseph and his brothers. He will come back someday, my brother Rick. I know he will. You both grew up separately. Come from a family of 14 kids. And Rick and I, we were separated when we were very young. Like uh, three or four years old, we were separated. And he grew up a harsh life. Always on the run, always stealing for whatever he got and always living in the woods and things like that. I grew up in a different structure. I grew up in a foster home that was so religiously Baptist strict. And I came through that even greater because God's grace and love for me. I, I wanted to share that with Rick. I wanted to give him that love that God has blessed me with, but it doesn't work. He's an alcoholic, my brother. He's swimming in booze and he's trying to chase away all his problems with alcohol. So it's really, really tough. You know, I cried and laughed with my brother Leo in Holland last night and I shared the story with him and I was so thankful to have fellowship with him and be able to share it with a brother that understood. You know, it's just like Joseph when he brought his brothers back. They will come. And my brother Rick will come back. I just have to wait for it, whether it's now or whether it's the, at the great white throne. That's the way it has to be. There's no question about it. I love you all and I want to share that with you today on this beautiful Sunday. I have my awesome family coming, my nephew and his wife and his two little boys today for a visit here. It's just gonna be a beautiful day with us. And I love that. The peace of God be with you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.